We are actually living in a world where electronics gives us so many opportunities. And anyway, it's one thing to sit in a classroom and learn things where, which a teacher can uh, tell you. But if you look at the sheer magnitude of the benefits that you can provide from one source of knowledge or information and spread it all across the world so cost effectively, so efficiently through uh, electronic media, uh, it really makes an enormous amount of sense. And in my view, we really haven't used this uh, major marvel of innovation which has taken place. Uh, there are people all over the world who are providing telemedicine. I mean, rural areas which don't have access to good medical expertise and facilities can benefit from telemedicine. So similarly, I think in subjects like this, where you need to sensitize communities and the population all over the world about the kinds of threats, the challenges that they're going to face as a result of extreme events and disasters. Uh, there's re really no more effective way of engaging people, informing them and giving them uh, knowledge than to use electronic media. So I would like to compliment uh, UNEP for uh, taking this step and I hope uh, this can be extended to several other areas where there would be similar benefits to society. My expectations of the COP that is to take place in Paris in 2015 are optimistic. And the reasons why I believe that we will get a favorable outcome is because there's been an enormous spread of awareness all over the world on the reality, on the science of climate change. Uh, and I think uh, people realize that this is not a hopeless situation. It's a situation where we need to uh, set in motion certain solutions and do that with a sense of urgency. And I think human society always needs a challenge. Human society needs some goals, some targets to work towards. And I think if we can mobilize uh, the community across the globe, then certainly uh, you would get a substantial amount of momentum, which hopefully in Paris will lead to a favorable result. So I think the, the conditions are all right. Of course, nobody can make any predictions, but my own instinct is that you would probably get a very favorable outcome in Paris. I believe uh, those areas where we need to focus research activities, both in academic and research institutions, would be essentially in relation to the impacts of climate change on a site-specific basis. See, we can come up with global uh, assessments, we can come up with a picture of what's going to happen overall across the globe. But we must remember that the impacts of climate change are very specific to conditions which vary from place to place. And uh, what we really need to do is to come up with a detailed assessment of what these impacts are going to be. I can give you an example. In the case of India, uh, some years ago, I went to the chief minister of one of the states and I said, the impacts of climate change on your state are going to be very serious. This is a state which has the Sundarban Islands, which are threatened with sea level rise and some small islands have actually disappeared. Uh, we have mountain areas very close to Mount Everest, very high Himalayan uh, uh, peaks and mountains. Then you have a large area where we, you've got farmers that are dependent on rain-fed agriculture. Now this is one single state in India and it has so much variation in terms of ecosystems and and uh, local characteristics. And unless you assess the impacts on each one of these sub-regions or sub-state uh, uh, sub level uh, situations, you're really not going to be able to come up with an accurate understanding of what impacts you would have to deal with in the future. So I believe this is a huge gap that researchers across the world have to start focusing on. And we should come up with a clear understanding of of what the impacts of climate change would be in each small micro ecosystem across the globe. And if we were to do that, 
I think our understanding of what climate change really means to each one of us and what we might do to deal with it will be enhanced enormously.